What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode with AB Investments. AB just got back. Uh, I just literally woke up because I've been, I, I got back early this morning. I was reporting while I was on the road. Uh, many, many uh, things. Uh, I was reporting how the housing market bubble is literally triggering off now because you've seen, if you're in the Discord, which I will share the link in the bottom, it's it's free, so you anybody could join. Uh, and also on Twitter, I reported that article because of on the Canadian uh, housing market and how on Wednesday when they reported a hike of 100 base points, that is only going to be factored in really soon. It didn't in fact get factored in yet, like next month. And people, there was an example like where people can, like 1.8% was already high. Imagine it in a few months going up from 1.8% to 3.4. Imagine if you have a house mortgage and it doesn't matter where you're at, even if you if you just purchased it or you just signed it or you just got it last year or five years ago, you still got halfway to go. Imagine if it was like a $300,000 home and you gotta pay 150,000 left. You can only imagine what those payments are like going to be. You're going to feel those because they're coming unexpectedly for you against the budgeting that you've been making for every month. You've drawn it out all the way until, you know, the end of the payments. But you didn't factor in that it was going to go ooh, like this or quick percent, uh, hike in interest. In the same time, it's only the beginning, too. The second worst thing is now the next job reports. You see all the companies are almost for Loken, uh, or in other words, they're letting go and uh, putting employees on leave. And, and, and you know, say we want to trim our force by 10%, 20%, 15%. Bankrupt companies, obviously, 100% of their employees. Uh, when I kept saying that they are actively, purposefully trying to crash the market, that's because, as you can see around you, it's not us who's trying to crash it. They also want to crash it. And I've been saying this forever. And why will they want to crash the market and all this stuff? Because, again, they've already... The top, top, top already made all their money. They made a lot of money. And there's no more space for over leveraging or uh, yet, better yet again, uh, relending and continue to bloom it even further and further. It, it's going to pop. And the worst part about it is the people that are on these situations are like, you know, who have mortgages. They're going to be knocked out on their asses on the streets unless they had, obviously, you know, a treasure trove somewhere uh, or factored something like this in, which is going to be very minimal. The overall majority, whelming majority are going to be screwed up because they're also dealing with inflation on living goods. So even if they want to try to scrape it up and try to make these payments, they're taken away from a different angle. They're taken away either from their food, from their family from whatever they're taking something from something else so that they can put into this nevertheless i have always told you guys that the true catalyst was always us there's no catalyst for us again i'm not shilling on any other creator or any of that stuff i've just said my opinion i've been saying it for months we don't need that's why i know that most of the latest talk has been about people being worried oh the cat system is gone we're done till 2023 2024 guys i warned you about that i warned you about 2021-10 warned you about all the other catalysts the evergrande catalyst the uh what else uh elon musk buying uh, selling uh, tesla catalyst all that kind of stuff. You see what's happening with crypto. Pump, dump, pump, dump, pump, dump, pump, dump. They, for daily, trader, uh, daily uh, trading op uh, opportunities for them on the other side. They, they are battling the buy and hold mindset. They want the buy, as I always say this, and I'll continue to say this. They don't want the hold. 
Now they want, they would love for people to pay per hand around this price because they know that majority over the overwhelming majority are what around what average, the 30, maybe upper 20s, maybe mid 30s. I don't know. I'm assuming at this point what the average of the overall community is. So, if most people bought into the 40s, 30s, whatever, and let's say the average was 30 bucks. Selling it now would mean they would deposit or they would make a 50% or 100% profit just as is if everybody was to wake up and say, okay, I want to sell. That's what they're trying to push you toward. They're trying to squeeze you out of your position. Us. They're trying to squeeze us out of our positions. They've been doing that for over a year and a half. The, the, the crazy part is once you see those things like these things like all these webs and align them all together you'll be able to see that yes they are actively trying to crash the market but why so that the government can be the bailout the only entity that has all the money to cover and deal with all this stuff is the government it's, it's the feds well obviously the feds is not a government branch but you know what's up they will get the money printer to print stuff. You have to remember, guys, that once once this goes into effect, like the the one, you will see how more 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 jobs being lost, and the job reports start actually becoming more relevant to what the real job losses are. The reports, when inflation obviously is way above this. I mean, we're already in doomed waters, but when it's much even higher than this, you already seen guys like it's only been about a month, a month and a half of crazy developments. Like everything was fine. AQR came, we used to come out and say we were good. Citadel, oh, we're beautiful. BlackRock, oh, <laughs> we own the globe and the universe. We, we are Thanos. In about a span of a month, month and a half max, Suddenly, all that tone have changed. Now, the feds want to hawkishly attack shit. Everybody wants to, oh, what is happening? And it's quick. They just want to kill that hold mentality. That hold mentality is what they're obviously tackling and battling and been battling because that's not going to be good for their business. Cat system, I told you, I already broke to you. All the crime is with us. We're holding all these synthetics. Yeah, they might be sitting on the obviously the FTDs, but they're FTDs to us. So all these synthetics, they're sitting, we're sitting on. That's that's. I mean, <laughs> the cat system. I understand it tries to open. Oh, once you know, okay. I, I, what's the best way that I can break this down? Um, you know those individuals that just kind of believe everything that is told, and. They just go, okay, this pamphlet says this, that means this is the way. And no, that's not the way it is in real in the real world. They can put things on the SEC docket. They can put many things and then yes, they can be postponed and they can be dead and they can be killed. You don't want to be caught into all that stuff. You just want to see the overall picture. Yeah, you can catch on to these things so it can lead you overall, use it as a tool to lead you to the overall picture, draw the poor overall picture. Don't ever, don't ever sit there and see what, why somebody or like what somebody did. But you want to sit there and you want to know, if you want to know what they did, you want to be like, why did they do this? So for what? What are they trying to accomplish? Why is this person, whatever, staring at me? <laughs> no, that's a side example. But why is this person staring at me? You look at it and you'll be like, okay for me I don't look at it from a perspective of like why are you staring at me for me I would look at it as what are they trying to get to so okay what are you trying to get to ultimately staring at me okay you saw it whatever I look ugly I look handsome whatever the case uh, okay that doesn't change my life but what is it that you're trying like what are you getting out of that I care about the cause the intentions and that helps me draw the overall image so I can judge the situation. And with them, you can see it. The writing is all over the wall. Don't let this 
if you've been subscribed to this channel, you are not going to have no morale disparag disparageness or whatever. Because I've already been telling you, don't wait for this stuff, for no cat system or whatever and all that stuff. We are sitting on all the evidence. We are sitting on what they want and need, and they will cover that. How? When you sell. When the market fully crashes, they have no grasp on the plays anymore. They let it go. Everything gets covered for. How does it get covered? When you sell, you're returning that synthetic to them. And then they, when they take it, it all gets buried. And let's say a CAT system that gets activated in 2023, 2024, 2028, whatever. When they go back to look and try to look for any FTDs, they're not going to find any. Why? Because they've all been sold back and uh, disposed of. Which, again, at this point, you shouldn't worry about that. You shouldn't care about that. I know you want to change the system. I know I know what you guys feel like. But at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, what reason did you get into this play? If you got into this play to change the game and the system, well, to a, to a certain extent, you did. And you will. If you got in this play to have life-changing money, and you're still hearing this right now, and you're still a part of the movement, then the beauty, the, the, your your life, your life is just beginning to to uh, bloom. So, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you like Moas tomorrow. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you Moas. Uh, oh yeah, near and all this stuff. It, it was supposed to happen on many different occasions in the past, and I even reported on a couple. So. Once, 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 once all this stuff starts breaking off, the housing market, job, jobs leading to housing, housing crash bubble, you got the student, the student loan bubble. <laughs> this is why it's so much even worse than 2008. You got so globally, so many, so many, so many nations reporting the same shit that was happening in 2008 on a much larger scale. Countries are freaking going bankrupt. People are, are are storming palaces and sitting in them in them. People like some some places like in the UK, like I don't want to be the prime minister. <laughs> Johnson was taken off and then the new person was like, ah, it's OK. I don't want to be one, the candidate for this. Nobody wants this job. They know what they're coming in for. <laughs> um. I understand you guys might be, again, some of you might be let down, but again, if you've been in this channel, you would know, like I prepared you guys before I went on this vacation and many times before that we're, I'm not waiting personally. I'm not waiting on a particular, uh, catalyst that happens I, more. What another institutional buyer, what, what are they going to buy? The float has been sold over and over again. God knows how many times, a thousand times, a hundred times. What are they going to do? Ray Dalio came in. What did it do? It, it, institutions keep buying in. What are they going to do? <coughs> Excuse me. Bill Gates buys a billion shares. Oh, shit. There's supposed to be only 513 million. But somehow he bought a billion shares. Price not going to move. These people are looking out for themselves because they know this is the wagon to be in. They just have the luxury of being able to wait because they have all their means and their funds in, together and obviously they have the capital for it so it's like kind of like throwing some money and see what happens later and they know that that's the place however they're not spooking anything who knows <laughs> they could be buying up crazy shit in the dark pools anyways guys i'm not gonna take much more of your time i'm gonna go live soon that there I'll do some answer uh, questions and answers so there you have it um, AB is not waiting for no catalyst once again the catalyst is us the hold um, once the time once it begins and the government it's in the government's lap to cover and it gets covered we're not gonna get that oh the AMC or the memes drop the whole economy in the globe no it's gonna come in it's gonna be part of the book the whole globe crashed. 
because of inflation and the COVID 20, uh, 2020 COVID-19, it just, the prices got crazy and we couldn't take it no more. And eventually now the market have crashed. We will get paid. We're one of those avenues that's part of this whole thing. Like all, all, all that crash that will happen eventually. And when it does, just remember guys, told you. Much love, AB Investments.